So if you feel like ah, I just can just make a baby step, just move your products to fragrance free. You're going to do so much for yourself and you might even notice, oh man, I don't get that, nag that uh, nagging headache I usually get every day when I, you know, whatever, spray Febreze on something or use a certain uh, plug in in your car or in your home or even use just different cleaning products that again are kind of touted as being natural or or oh you know this is in the natural section at the store it must be fine and sometimes those fragrances are so heavy and so um, intense they're definitely not straight essential oils which if you smell you may like or not like the smell but it's not going to give you that headache and uh, those kinds of things the word fragrance can hide anything because it's considered it's considered to be the company's proprietary blend. So there's even some green products, green cleaners out there that are just, they still have the word uh, fragrance on it. So it's not, you're paying more for something that's really not truly green. That's not okay to me. So basically you can think of it like a hundred or more or a thousand or more ingredients that the company doesn't have to tell you what's in it. So one way that you can shift is just to go fragrance free. So even if you're using, you know, big brand name products, basically all of them now have a fragrance free line. So that is going to do you a great amount of good to just move away from the fragrance. And if you do love fragrances, there's different ways that you can bring that into your life. One thing that I do is I like to put essential oils in my laundry soap. So I, I use a fragrance-free laundry soap, I use a fragrance-free dish soap. Um, and for the laundry soap, just sometimes I like to put a fragrance in there, not only perhaps to make it smell nice, but also to help it um, clean better actually. So I use like some of the lime or different essential oils sometimes to help um, the cleaning process. And so what I'll do is I won't put it all into the big bottle of laundry soap, although you could do that. Um, I just, every time I put some laundry soap in the dispenser, I put some essential oils in there with the soap and then it goes in there. One other really um, dreadful thing is that people use dryer sheets a lot on their clothes. And not only does it insert a fragrance which is potentially endocrine disrupting and headache causing and all of these things and liver toxifying is that it it coats the clothes and then it like keeps the the smell inside of that coating and as you wear the clothes that coating is coming off on your skin and therefore it's going inside your body and toxifying you so if you really want to um use a dryer sheet kind of thing to make your clothes a little bit softer or static free get the wool dryer balls that you can buy in a lot of places now definitely online and use essential oils on the wool dryer balls and then put those inside of the dryer so the wool dryer balls can be used over and over again they um, you know move through the dryer so they're kind of plumping your clothes there there's no static and then when you put the essential oil on there, then it's putting the essential oil into your clothes, um, which is, makes a nice smell. When you're washing your laundry, when your laundry is getting hung up or folded, and when you're wearing your clothes, you're, all, you're getting affected by your laundry soap. So look at those ingredients as well, okay? I like the Young Living. It says free from SLS, dyes, petrochemicals, formaldehyde, phosphates, synthetic perfume, and optical brighteners. So one thing uh, that also people use a lot are these um, plugins, basically, like plugins either at their home for fragrance or plugins inside of their car. And so you'll see them often like inside of the vent that, that blows the air at you, etc. So especially in the setting of a car, but also in the setting of a home, when you have these very, very strong fragrances, and like Jean was mentioning, they have who knows what in them because it's the proprietary blend of the company. But people like Jean and I, who are sensitive to these smells, and you're probably one of these people too, gives you an instant headache because the, those fragrances are so synthetic. And again, who knows what's in them? So when you're in a car and you've got that fragrance kind of constantly blowing at you from the air vent, you definitely want that fragrance to be something that doesn't give you a headache, that smells nice for your car, and that also is, um, 
it actually benefits your health. I mean, imagine that. So Young Living actually has some uh, car diffusers. Yes, yeah, we do have several. We have a USB one, which I um, do not have to show you guys, but um, feel free to look it up if you have a USB plug-in in your car. Also, we have these cute little ones that go into the air conditioning. For example, geranium is so flowery. I would probably only do like one drop and that would help your whole car because that's how flowery geranium is. But something that might be a little lighter like lemon or um, maybe even lavender, do two or three, that's it. You just have it on there, put it on there. And then this little black thing goes into the uh, air con or the little air conditioning slot and it stays, it's like easily stays there. So yeah, those are the two options, USB or um, the car air vent one. So in your premium uh, starter kit, if you don't have it already, you get this lovely diffuser, which as you can see makes this very fine mist, plugs in um, and you can, it's just, you just put essential oils and water in there and press go and it'll go for several hours and it just releases this lovely smell of your choice into your environment so you've got that um, it's good for you it's good for your loved ones and whatnot it's not going to cause any headaches etc 